hello guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i shall show you how you can call a wtf service synchronously let's start so this is the wcf service i have created in this right side you can see and uh, one more thing uh, uh, let me tell you that this is uh, Visual Studio uh, 2022. So I, I am using Visual Studio uh, 2022 version. And this WCF uh, service I have created using .NET Framework 4.8. Okay. And this is my WCF uh, client synchron synchronous. So this is one console application and I have created this console application using the .NET framework 4.0 sorry .NET framework 6.0 so 6.0 is my uh, target framework for uh, WCF synchronous client okay and uh, let me show you the properties as well so it is basically console application .NET 6.0. Okay. So this is these are the properties. Now let me add the service reference to this client application. So I'm going to this add section. A right click on that project and go to add then go to service reference then WCF service get next I'm clicking discover because in the same solution I have this WCF service one so I'm clicking on discover if it is hosted in other server you may click here go by providing the URL of the uh, service1.sbc file and if you have the WSDL then you can browse that WSDL from the location you have saved the WSDL and then you uh, create the service here so basically this will generate the service proxy class now I am clicking on discover so service1 I already have got it I'm clicking on next here you can see uh, how you can transport the message right? so it is system.array and system.collection.generic.dictionary so these two types will be used to transport messages okay. always generate message contract collection type this and dictionary collection type is this now going to the next here you can see the access level generated class it is public and generate synchronous operation so i'm clicking on generate synchronous operation and i'm clicking yes now you can see it successfully added the service reference so now now okay, close this application Close this window. Now I'm coming to the program.cs file and adding my service reference service reference one dot service one client client equal to Now client dot get yeah here you can see both the get data this is basically the synchronous call and here you can see that get data async so get data is async is asynchronous call so this has generated the async method for you as well 
sync and this is your sync also so get data say i am calling get data with uh, integer value i am putting here 10 and giving <coughs> here string is equal to this and console dot write line console dot right line also dot right line and uh, and print and this yes okay so this is basically the synchronous call so this is a uh, synchronous call so i am synchronous call okay and uh, for a synchronous call the synchronous call we need to uh, do like this line dot string this one equal to client dot get data async get data async this will add your synchronous call say i am giving a 13 okay 13 dot result so this is your asynchronous call now console dot write line console dot write console dot write line and here we put s1 okay so let's run this application. Synchronous <coughs> mm, call. I am clicking uh, here. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, go to debug and start new instance. Yes, you can see the output. You have entered 10 and you have entered 13. So this is, this is the way you can call both synchronous and asynchronous. The your service methods. So guys, thanks for watching. If you feel that it helps, please like, share, and also subscribe my channel.